really like people. There'd have to be something that gives them away. Perhaps they'd exhibit some sort of strange behavior. Like a third eye. That's not a behavior, Gus. What about extra arms? Your attention, please. The random drawing for 3rd Street's annual student principal golf match against 89th Street School is about to take place. Do we have any last minute entries? Anyone? <laughs> entries, that's rich. Golf is for old people. Golf is boring. Last chance. Anybody? Very well. And the winner is Vince LaSalle. <gasps> you mean the loser is LaSalle. Oh, me. Sweet Blossom must have entered your name, Vince. You want I should pound him? No, no. Not this time, Smelly. I put my name in there myself. What? You entered your own name in the drawing? The real Vince would never do that. Alien. Look, guys, I just figured, what the heck? Might as well learn golf now so I can dominate that game after I retire from pro baseball, basketball, and football. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Now, you little good for nothing, you listen to me. I'm not going to stand for any more of your insubordinate behavior. This time, you'll get in a hole. Dang, nabbit. Lemon, this better be... Oh, LaSalle, what are you in for? I'm your partner for the golf match. Minnow said he wanted the winner to report to the office. Have you ever played golf before? No, sir. Oh, great. But I've seen it on TV. Well, I guess you might as well start learning now. This is a putter. Well, well, what do we have here? Little Petey trying to teach another kid how to lose at golf? Paul, what are you doing here? Oh, I thought I'd just stop by for some pre-match sportsmanship, little brother. Oh, did I say little brother? What I meant to say was loser. Loser, loser, loser. Always ready to rub it in. Rub it in? Why, I never rub it in. Did I mention that Petey's lost to me 17 years in a row? <laughs> By the way, Petey, have you met my partner for this year's match? Foster Cushman Bumpus the third? Cheers, little people. I've been golfing since I was three. Pleasure to meet you. Principal Paul says you're the worst golfer in the world. What a delightful little duck. Excuse me, sirs, but would you mind keeping it down? I'm trying to sink a 13-footer here. Now, please, don't move. Hey, this golf thing's kind of fun. What an unbelievable shot. Ah, beginner's luck. Want to see me do it again? Save it for the match, partner. Well, what do you know? Seems my friend Vince here is a natural at golf. What do you say about that, Paulie, baby? Come on, Foster. Time to go practice. Leaving to practice, eh? Well, good idea. I have a feeling the old golf match is going to be a different story this year. With a little practice, finally you and I could put my loudmouth brother in his place. Jeez, Vince, Prickly's already got you working on that golf junk? Don't knock it till you try it, Teach. Golf's a lot more fun than it looks on TV. And Prickly wasn't nearly as bad as everyone said he'd be. He even called me partner. Sounds to me like Vince here is getting on Prickly's good side. Prickly's good side? Maybe we can find a way to work this to our advantage on the playground. I've been thinking that we could use a good go-kart track out here. And an anti-gravity chamber might be somewhat useful. Perhaps an all-you-can-eat dessert bar. Hold on, guys. I'm not in it for any special favors. I'm just looking to add another W to my collection of wins. And Prickly's really looking forward to beating his brother this year. Which reminds me, I'm supposed to go practice pick shots with Prickly. So, catch you later. It's nice to see that the stigma of the annual golf match has a gap in Vince's competitive nature. Well, I say good for Vince. And if it makes him happy, I'm happy for him. I'm going for that tree over there. Nice shot, Vince. I'll try aiming for that tree over on the left. Oh, these cheap cop balls. If you don't mind me saying so, sir, that's not how they do it on TV. Try shifting your weight to the right, just slightly, like this. Shift my weight to the right, eh? Great guns of Tasco. It worked. Principal Prickly, I caught Lawson here giving Brandon a twirly. She saved my life! Ah! Uh. I didn't do nothing. And besides, you can't blame me for doing it. He won't stop that singing with his voice. Hang on, Mr. Lawson. I'll punish you in a second. Miss Spencer, come and tell me the whole story while I retrieve my new lucky ball. Yes, sir. Well, Sal, looks like you've turned into a regular Principal Prickly's favorite person type of guy. I'm not Principal Prickly's favorite person, Lawson. Oh, sure you're not, LaSalle. But seeing as how you are, how about you using your pull with the old man to get him to cut me some slack? <laughs> Look, Lawson, I don't have any pull with Prickly. I'm just his golf partner. But even if I did have some kind of in with him, why would I waste it on somebody who deserves to get punished? Well said, Vince. Huh? Hey. All right, Lawson, let's go to the office and sort this out. I'll be right back, partner. Principal's pet. Will the other kids hear about this? and bought him a big swing TV. And then he got to swim in Principal Prickly's solid gold swimming pool. Oh, man, you serious? Who are you guys talking about? Uh, nobody. Oh, I heard Vince has been throwing parties on Prickly's private yacht. Say what? Oh, I can't Vince. How's the yacht? Not you two. Come on, guys. You gotta know none of that junk is true. You mean you didn't take a supersonic jet to Bangladesh to buy rice cakes? No. But you have been spending a lot of time with the old guy. We're just practicing. Believe me, Prickly's not treating me better than any other kid in school. Vince, dear, Principal Prickly needs some more pointers on his putting. Guess I'll meet up with you guys on the playground. Vince, dear. <laughs> <laughs> say, Vince, our shovels have been getting pretty dull lately. Yeah, so? So, how's about you pull some strings with your buddy Prickly and get us some heavy-duty steam shovels? Guys, Prickly isn't my buddy. Yeah, Vince, and while you're at it, my legs are getting tired. Tell Prickly to get some turbo swings out here. More chips and lunchtime would be nice. <laughs> Look, everybody, give it a rest. I don't have any special pull with Prickly. Sure you don't, Vince. Yeah, um, we know all about the freight train full of candy. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's no... 
Huh. Oh, dear, Vince. You look positively hairy. Prickly driving you nuts? Nah, it's not prickly. If anything's driving me nuts, it's all these kids who are asking me to get them favors because I golf with the guy. Sounds to me like you could use a good old game of kickball to take your mind off your problems. Yeah, now you're talking. Hey, Benny. Sorry to interrupt your little game here. I just wanted to see if you'd be up for another trip to the pitch and putt after school, so we're in top shape for the big game tomorrow. Uh, sure, Principal Prickly. That's just swell. I'm in. Come on, let's go. You're gonna pitch or do you have to write down your date with Prickly in your date book first? <laughs> Vince and Prickly standing on a green. P-U-T-T-I-N-G. First comes par, then comes bogey, then comes Vince just like an old bogey. <laughs> This is bad, Vince. You're telling me this principal's pet junk's out of control. I can't show my face without either getting teased or asked for favors. Vince, I hate to say it, but I think the only way to salvage your reputation is to stop playing golf with Prickly. But it's just one more day of golf. Is one more day of golf worth being branded principal's pet the rest of your life? Oh, maybe you're right. But I really was looking forward to winning. And Principal Prickly really wants to be his brother. It's a tough decision. And it's one only you can make, Vince. Unless you want to be labeled principal's pet the rest of your days, you probably shouldn't go. Guess I got some thinking to do. Hey Vince, what are you getting good with the big guy? You and Prickly. It's just like me and Miss Finster, only with expulsion power. Good luck tomorrow, buddy, and welcome to the club. Miss Finster, Miss Finster, time for my cookie! Oh man, am I really turning into a principal's pet? Well, Pete, time's running out, so where's your partner? Uh, I don't know. I'm sure he'll be here in a minute. Are you sure about that, little brother? I mean, maybe he's found a better golf partner. Like a chimpanzee! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you kids, where's your friend LaSalle? He was supposed to be here an hour ago so we could limber up on the driving range. Actually, sir, if I may, I surmise that Vince's absence means he decided to follow TJ's advice and not show up. Not show up? What? Well, you see, sir, playing golf with you has been fun for Vince, but it's also been kind of hard. Kids around the playground have been making fun of him. A lot. They've been calling him Principal's Pet! Principal's Pet? Afraid so. And honestly, sir, that's something that no decent kid should have to endure. Well, I guess I can understand that. Oh, I'm gonna get an earful about this. Not showing up? I don't blame him. Because you, little brother, are pathetically late. <laughs> Poor old Principal Prickly. He sure is getting an earful. He sure is. Vince, what are you doing here? We figure you came to your senses and weren't going to show up. Actually, I wasn't sure if I was going to show up. But when I got a game, I got a game. Does this mean you really are the principal's pet? You can call me that if you want, Gus. And everybody else can, too. I don't care. <gasps> Such boldness. You guys had me convinced that playing with Principal Prickly was the wrong thing to do because it was hurting my reputation around school. And then Randall told me that hanging out with Prickly was the right thing to do. That me and Prickly were going to be just like him and Vince. Ooh, doesn't get any worse than that, Vince. Yeah, well, fact is, Randall was wrong. And so are you guys. That's gonna require some clarification. I'm not looking for favors or power or anything like that. All I want to do is play some golf. If that hurts my reputation, then that's the way it goes. I'd rather be known as the guy who did what he thought was right than the guy who quit because he was afraid of what other people might say. Wow, when you put it that way. Sorry, man. No problem. Hey, Principal Pete. Sorry I'm late. Vince, you're here. So, my brother's latest victim showed up after all. Excuse me, sir, but I'm not your brother's victim. I'm your brother's partner. Come on, Principal P. Let's shut these guys down. You said it. Guys, this is golf. I do believe that is a hole in one. Uh-oh. Listen, Petey, about those things I've been saying over the past 17 years, you know, it was just brotherly ribbing, right? You wouldn't start making fun of me like that, would you? I mean, I'll get you a nice Christmas present this year. 